Hey everybody, it's Steven Get Money Myrick here, and I have heard you loud and clear. You want a video about which artifacts you should be swapping your Magic Stone Swords for. Now, I wasn't going to make this video because I trust my viewers that they were smart enough to make the decision on their own, and I thought they'd be able to figure it out, but everybody's in the comments is crying, saying, money, let us know what to do. And I think what it really is, honestly, is you guys want somebody to blame. You all want somebody that you can look at and say, well, money told me to do this so that a month from now when I'm wrong, well, at least I can blame it on money. Uh, because I think you guys know what the general paths are and I trust you all to be pretty smart with your accounts. But that doesn't matter. What matters is you wanted a guide. This is the day before we have a chance to make it and figure out what we're going to do. So I'm going to make a guide for you all. I try. I started by making it like really complicated. I had like a flow chart. Like if you have this, then this. If not, then that. And I said, screw it, that's too complicated as well because you want to be baby fed. So this is my list of artifacts I prioritize in their order. I will also say, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn it red to gray, and let's go ahead and check out this list. So I went through every single pay to win artifact in the game and I tried to create a tier list, a hierarchy of when you would want to target each pay to win artifact. This list is both PVP and PVE focused. Uh, because I believe being good in PvP is important and it's fun and it's part of the game, but at the same time, PvE is really where you're going to get a lot of your resources that matter for PvE and PvP, like Stellar Shards. So the goal of this list is to go through and start at the top and then work your way down. So your first goal, for example, would be getting four stat punchers of the mortal, then eight even those, then four Augustus Magic Balls, and you would just go down this list depending on what you do or don't have. So if you didn't have anything, for example, and you had six Magic Stone Swords, you might take four Step Hunters in the Mortal and two Demon Bells. So that would be a very, very basic scenario of what I would recommend you swapping. There's a ton of caveats with this, so you could just look at the list and take this, but I will go into a little bit more detail. One would be that while four Step Hunters in the Mortal is ideal, Really, if you just had three, most of the content is going to be able to be completed by you. Even two will help you a ton uh, as far as Aspen Dungeon and some modes within like Realmsgate, for example. But four is where obviously you're going to get the most damage out of your heroes. So ultimately you want to get to four, but getting to three and then maybe waiting and see if we're going to get a free one for Black Friday or for Christmas and that fear you might have of over getting them and having a fifth one. I will say that fear isn't necessarily real. Like you'll always be happy to take a pay to win artifact and maybe you just don't spend your resources if you don't need that fifth copy. But I can understand it, especially if you're a new player, that that fear of getting all four and then giving being given a free one maybe in like two months time that you might feel bad about it. So I will say if you want to stop at three and then maybe come back and get the fourth one later, completely understandable. With Demon Bells, I know it's tough to get eight. Obviously, it's very, very tough for a lot of players, especially if you're free to play or a low spender. But the eight demon bells will allow you to energy feed and it will help you dramatically in many different PvE modes by being able to give your heroes, your like damage heroes, a damage artifact, but they can still get their actives off in round one and start doing damage. Augustus Magic Ball is in an interesting spot because in one way, it's like one of the best artifacts you can put on Scarlet Queen Halora, and it is the best artifact you can put on Sword Farcia, and it's really good on Sherlock. So it's still really, really strong, but it's definitely falling out of the meta some. So you could argue that A and B isn't even really needed, and maybe instead of getting four A and Bs, you'd rather get another set of crowns for your PvP lineup. But I think between Aspen Dungeon, between some of the PvE modes, between the fact that it's the best artifact on Sword Farcia, I still think like getting four copies of Augustus Magic Ball is important. Uh, just like with Crown, like Andrea, Fiona, uh, Eloise, like all the newest heroes care about crowns. It's definitely the high-end meta. You're never going to be unhappy having a crown and putting on a hero, putting on a Rogan even, just to make them live longer. So even in within PvE modes, like possibly the new tower modes, uh, a crown could help you just survive for a few more rounds to actually get to the later game uh, where you can maybe knock out a hero too and still stay alive. Same thing with Ruiz here. Ruiz are good, obviously, at controlling and where they're gonna shine is on Starwing Jaro and on Cruise. So if you're not anywhere near Starwing Jaro or Cruise, and they're honestly pretty good on Sherlock on PVP. I think it's just one of those things where you're gonna be happy you have them. Uh, it's a speed artifact, it's HP, so it's good on even like carries. People used to run on carries, people used to run them on Russells back in the day, believe it or not. So it's still a good artifact and I would kind of want to get my that like base locked down. Like this is my base pay to win artifacts. Uh, Rui is definitely a little bit of a what do they call it? A hot take. I know I know what the kids call it. It's a hot take, right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> 
It's, it's a little bit of a hot take, but I think you'll just be happy you have one. It works well, like in a lot of situations, before you start moving into the upper echelons, uh, which is where I'm talking about getting your third Splendid Demon Bell, and then getting your second crown, and then your fourth Splendid Demon Bell, and then after that, it's just crowns all the way until you have seven, eight, ten crowns, you know, then maybe you start looking at getting more, uh, I don't even know at that point, you know, then you're winning the game and you're winning life. So... That, that's the order I would go in, and these are the artifacts I would swap for Magic Stone Swords. If, there, if it's not an artifact on the left-hand side of this list, I would not even consider swapping a Magic Stone Sword for it. Uh, any of the ones on the right-hand side, it's just not worth it in my opinion whatsoever at all. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about those artifacts on the right-hand side. So, I'm going to start with Snow Heart, because obviously Snow Heart is very powerful. It's especially powerful at disrupting energy feed in PvP. And I have definitely faced a few lineups where if the opponent doesn't have Snow Heart, I am just wrecking them, but they do have Snow Heart, then they're able to stay competitive and throw off my order and screw with me. So Snow Heart, Snow Heart is definitely good, uh, but it's not going to help you at all really in PvE modes other than just being an energy artifact. And maybe something in the tower is slowing down lineups so your guy's faster, but that's super, super niche. And ultimately, it's just boring. Like, nobody's excited about Snowheart. Uh, they're expensive. They're hard to come by. We will see, you know, two months from now when people maybe have multiple Splendid Snowhearts, what the PvP meta is actually looking like. Obviously, slowing down speed is relevant. But it's just boring right now, and it's not going to help you in PvE. So I would not swap a Magic Stone Sword for it. And that comes full circle to Magic Stone Sword. Maybe you just keep your Magic Stone Sword. But I would not. Uh, I don't think we have any good reason to keep one right now. Obviously, we might have one in the future, right? And you're going to feel bad that you swapped it. But we have reasons to get more crowns and more demon bells right now. We have reasons to get Augustus Magic Balls. Right now, there is no actual reason to get a Magic Stone Sword. So if they roll out a mode in a couple of months' time where you want one, or in a couple of weeks' time where you want one, maybe Tower Level 3, like... Oh, whoops, you made a mistake. You can come back and blame me. Leave a comment in the video below. You know, it just helps my algorithm the more you guys comment and let me know how bad I am. But I, I would not hold on to one. I would not hold on to one. You can go and get one. So when I say maybe here, it's maybe it'll be used in the future. But right now, I would not get one. Uh, the Kiss of Ghost can be helpful if you're a new player and trying to clear seal lands, especially an upgraded Kiss of Ghosts. But honestly, I'm so far removed of that, I can't give the best opinion. And I also think Staff Punisher is going to help you in a lot of the same ways a Kiss of Ghosts will be. So the take them here is a, uh, the typically DH games will just give these out for free once a year. Uh, so I wouldn't actively pursue them, but when you take them, you can use them and help your account. Antlers, uh, or branches as some people call them, they're good against PvP boss, P PvE bosses. But they're not required at all. Like you could use a stat punisher and get similar results. Um, I just would never be pursuing one. Lucky candy cane bar or whatever it's called. Lucky candy bar. But it's a candy cane but I think it's called lucky candy bar. Just absolutely no. Like people talking about swapping for this item like honestly make me angry. Like it's just not remotely required. Some people are like well but I can keep my Olivia and not stun for Void Arc. It's like okay cool. So what? Like, this doesn't matter. Like, you could also get a 6-star Ignis and just get CC immunity. Like, it, it's just not worth pursuing whatsoever. And the Wildfire Torch, I don't even know what this item does. I have two of them in my bag. Uh, I'm not getting rid of them, just in case they ever become relevant. But no, there's just no reason to have them right now at all. So that's my list. I spoon-fed it to you. I helped you out. I handed it to you. This is what I would do. Now go out and swap those Magic Stone Swords. Don't hold on to them. I don't see any reason to hold on to them at all. And when I'm wrong, oh well, I'm wrong. But right now, I'd much rather have more Demon Bells. I'd much rather have, you know, more crowns and helping my progress that way as opposed to holding on to something that may be good in the future. So hopefully you found this video helpful. You all were commenting, telling me how much you wanted to know my opinions. I, like I said, I think you all knew it. But I think you just want somebody to spell it out for you. That decision between getting a second Splendid Crown or a third Demon Bell or that decision between whether you get a Rui or not, this is what I'm saying, okay? It's me. That's me. This is what I'm saying. Hopefully you found this helpful, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.